Hello, my name is Azmi Sharom, and this is my show, Brave New World, where this week, I'll be speaking about fear. You know, I hate horror movies. I, I really don't like them at all because, well, you know, they scare me. She's alive. You know, you're sitting there in the darkened theatre and the scares are coming and there's absolutely nothing you can do. You can't fight back what's on the screen. So, you know, I'm, I'm left quivering, frightened, and the only thing I can think about is, when on earth is this stupid movie going to end? But that's the thing about fear, it distracts you. And that's why it's a fantastic tool for those who want to rule. Because if your populace are frightened, then they won't be thinking about the big issues and they'll be way too fearful to be fighting you. It's great stuff. Now, for years, the weapon of choice in this country was the Internal Security Act, the dreaded ISA. It gave so much power to government that anyone would feel insecure about their own personal liberty. They could lock you up without trial for as long as they wanted to. Now, this is pretty scary stuff, but it's hogwash. I mean, like, they can't check on every single one of us, but all it takes is one big show of power, like the 1987 Operation Lalang, and then suddenly, bang, the fear becomes real. Why are they doing this? They said when you got here, the whole thing started. I think you're evil! Evil! Now, some of you who are older, like me, might remember what it was like in the 80s. You know, when, when people were critical with, about the government, they would suddenly speak softer in hushed tones. And, and, and if you were to be critical in a public space, like in a coffee shop, you know, your friends would hush you up as though the special branch officers all over the place. You know, we, we, we had it in our heads that we little people were so important that even in our living rooms, we were being bugged and we were being listened to. You made a phone call! This is total bull, but it worked. Now, today, the ISA is gone. There are other laws, yeah, sure. All these anti-terrorism laws like SOSMA and the like. But, you know, they don't have the same kind of resonance as the dreaded ISA. But that's not to say that they ain't trying. They are. I mean, um, people are getting done for posting stuff on their Facebook. And now, now I heard that they want to check our WhatsApp messages, right? So the admin of WhatsApp groups can get done for what is being posted in those groups. Now, I also heard that the cops are making random checks on our telephones. This is crazy talk, man. It's, it's so... It's, it's unrealistic. Firstly, they don't have the authority to just check your phones. And secondly, what? They're gonna check every single one of us? It's not gonna happen. But, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about instilling this fear, making us frightened, because nothing helps the oppressive more than to have the oppressed nervous and scared. At the end of the day, what this means is that we censor ourselves, we shut up, and the nonsense continues. My friends, whatever they do, fear is not an option. I sure hate to see old Charlie Slim. Objection! I hate to hear what Pa's gonna say. Well, I ain't saying a word. So, my friends, don't be frightened. Tell us what you think on Facebook, or YouTube. Until next week, if I'm around, bye-bye.